Hello. Hello? Ah, that's much better. Yes. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? Oh, all kinds of things, Christine. All kinds of things. I got a hold of my superiors and we sat down and we had a long meeting. And mm -hmm. we covered a lot of things. They listened to the conversation and they were impressed, implicably so even. But they do have a few issues. And, well, I can't deny it, the biggest thing working against you right now is the C-W-C-I-K-I. -I. I think you mean, yeah, you mean the quickie. The quickie, yeah. is that what it is? Okay, so the quickie, yes. Now, I told them that that website is in no way whatsoever affiliated with you professionally. That's right. But even under that guise, they still took the time to look through it themselves, and they did come across a few things that they can't deny as fact. So I told them that I would contact you and find out a few more details about a few particular aspects, if you don't mind. That's fine. Far away. All right. The first one that comes up is your alleged court case involving GameStop. Oh, yes, that was uh, unfortunate, but um, uh, that did happen. But in my but in my defense, I was very much spooked and quite and quite scared upon the event, and I and upon having encountered similar situations before, uh, I had not been able to defend myself as better, as best as I could. Um. Unfortunately, yes, uh, that has happened, but the court case is cleared up, and, uh... Really? How did that turn out? I, 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 went, I went, to each of my went to each of the court trials as scheduled and everything, and, uh... I, every, anyway, everything's all cleared up. I just have a few... Just have a... The old court fines, so I'm still paying off. Court fine. So no sentences or anything? No incarceration? Right, no sentences or incarceration. Okay, okay. And how long were you arrested before you were released? That's just a small question. Uh, yes, that was... You know, I was arrested the night of December 26th, 2014. And uh, I, was, I was put on... I did not... I was not able to get back home until the following Monday. Oh, my. Yeah, so I spent a weekend hibernating in jail. I hope they fed you well. Uh, yes. A teas and biscuit or uh, the cheeseburgers or pizza? I don't know. I've never been arrested. Um, well, actually, uh, it was more like, um... Bit of bit of meat, a um, little bit of fruit, and some milk and juice and water. Okay, all right. Sounds about pretty common jail time grub, I guess. Quite. All right. So we covered the little bit of the jail indecencies and all that stuff. Now they mentioned another thing, and this one really caught their attention because this was the big court case. Hmm. Michael Snyder. Uh, yes, the uh, the owner of the closed down game and hobby place. Oh, uh, it's closed down now. Yes, it's been yes, it's been closed for about a year or two now. Is it? It's not? Yeah, it's now been it's now a uh, it's now a store for chocolates. Really? Do you go there often? Uh, no, but I've drove no, but I've driven by there, so I have. So that's how I know. That's how I know. Yeah, you should stop in sometime. Take a look around the police. See if they're done with it. Yeah, I don't think it did. I don't think it's as good just as it used to be. But anyway, um, aside from that, um, yeah, two th yeah, pretty much nearly true, except for exaggerations and the obvious fantasies they have. Uh, but yeah, um, about April '08, um, Snyder had a. Chip, a chip on his shoulder against me, so he banned me from there. And uh, then, the, and then a couple of years later, I, I came in there, asked, uh, came in there and talked to him and asked him to 
uh, looked at that. He said he was really cold heart. Said no. So then a couple of years later, tried again. Still no. And then uh, shortly after my father's passing in 2011, uh, it it takes it, my my brain's a little slow. So you have to forgive me there. It's no but problem. Anyway, Take your time. Yes. Anyway, um, so after he's dead, uh. Yeah, my mother and I were out, and we were driving by. We noticed a sign on there that said, Under New Management. So we, so I took a guess that Snyder was out of the picture. Then my mom and I, we both went in, and he was there. And he immediately called the police against us. And my mother and I ended up having to spend a night in jail because of that. But, yeah, after... Uh, the uh, months with the uh, tr- with the court trials and uh, oh shoot, I'm trying to think of it. Um, uh, we were not uh, we were not sentenced to prison or anything bad like that. We had we had to check in with uh, somebody every once about once a month or so. Um, pretty much just. Um, I, I, I have to put it closer to my as far as the term that came up to my head. I would say. Um, some sort of parole, but supervised, and then after that trial went about, it became unsupervised, so, and then we became free from that. All right, sounds good to me. Yeah, but it did kill us, uh, pretty much nearly all the remaining funds that Mr. C., my father, had left to us. As God rest his soul. Yes. Now, we've covered that, and then the, the next question that came up was, um, do you actually have a brother by the name of Cole Smith, or is that just a horrible troll joke? Oh, no, it's true. My half-brother, Joseph Cole Smithy, my mother gave birth to him. Um, yeah, has uh, his own mental and physical traumas. Um, left, uh, he, left my, he left our mother and had a chip on his shoulder against her, uh, moved to New York, and became the... Mo- became the movie critic with his own website, colesmithy.com. Wait a minute, he's the Cole Smithy, the movie critic? Yes. No, he's quite world... well known over here. He's like a celebrity. Yes, the world's smartest movie critic. Really? The smartest movie critic? That's an impressive title. Well, well, that's what it says on his website anyway. Oh, I see. Well, although at least, uh, even though... Um, I might disagree with him on the review of Toys of the Toy Story three movie, but at least we agree on uh, Inside Out. Yes, I've heard a lot of people disagree with his review of Toy Story three. Quite. Um, I still have not seen Toy Story three, but I've seen Toy Story one and some of number two. I it just never came about to my point of view yet. Now, uh. One of the things that one of our interns who was checking the site for us came across was Sonichu, the animated series. Uh, yes, I had nothing to do with the online animations that have been currently released yet, that have been currently released, except for the one that I approved of, of which uh, was a fan animation, computer generated, and Sonichu took down a robot on his way to rescue Roshu that I ended up uh, with the with the permission, uh, quoting and re and drawing and re- rewriting a little bit in my number nine book. Okay, good. we were concerned about that. We wanted to make sure that it was legitimate yeah, and not associated with you. Yeah, but yeah, Science Shoot the animated series is not associated with me whatsoever. Okay. Uh, another aspect that came up and this one is the one that made them feel a little uncomfortable and that's your how do i put this eloquently your extensive adult gallery Hmm. yes i have drawn a few pieces of uh of sexual taste and whatnot um but mostly yeah mostly in the nude with uh women and female characters but I mostly keep the, uh, I was like, I was, I was kind of like, I was kind of like, um, yeah, I was just trying it out for a little while. And then also, um, with the theoretical X's, the theoretical X being, uh, one of my past, uh, 
women friends that I've talked with over the internet, but it turned out to be air, and one of these internet troll cyber bullies, and then uh, that, and then that whole shlemiel, and then that whole shlemiel of communication uh, ended up being quote unquote exposed. Oh, how horrible! Someone pretending to be a girl to get your affections. Yes. How deplorable. And, yeah, and yes, and among which they did requ- they did request of me to draw the things that would go on between her and me, respectively. But that was so long ago, and I just put all that behind me. It's the last time I've ever really drawn anything of the sexual tendencies. Oh, like I said, we're just making sure we've got all of our bases covered before we make too many steps forward. We wouldn't want to accidentally get associated with something that might be construed inappropriate for children. Quite, quite. But of course, the uh, big difference between uh, between any anybody else's uh, redrawing of my characters and whatnot is definitely the drawing, hand drawing style. I've never. I've never drawn anything within my comic book pages on the computer except to uh, make sort of a collage or to quote from past pages. Yes, I noticed that a lot of your art seems to be colored with markers, a very intriguing form of, uh, you know, coloring. Yes, I like using the Crayola markers. The ones that come in the 50-pack and they're uh, th- and they're thin with a little pointed tips. It's easier to stay in the lines, definitely. No, you wouldn't want to go outside the lines. Yeah. And then some of them even are bar scented, so that's a little bit of fun as well. Like a, like Oof. coloring with yellow and you get lemon. Oh, man, I think that would get like crazy if you used all scented ones. Yeah, but it's, it's they're not all scented. It's just like, you know, it was a select few out of the 50. So are you saying that Sonichu is lemon scented? would be fun, wouldn't it? But um, uh, upon the original covering, it's, it's some of the time, I would say so. But I would tend to say that the scent from the original ink has faded away by now. Do you, uh, I do have another question. Now, this is out of concern, but the associates and I came across that horrible little article about your house catching on fire. Uh, yes, that was uh, January of 2014. It was electrical. My mom and I and our dogs and one of our cats, we got out safe and our insurance company helped us. Uh, we stayed in a hotel for about a month and, uh, we, and we ended up moving into a temporary house for nearly the whole year. And, we, and our house had finally been finished, reconstructed. Uh, about near the end of December, about near the end of December, so we had got moved in just in the nick of time there before the lease run ran right out in the house we were temporarily residing in. Yeah, that's good. That's good because uh, I noticed that people tentatively have a large collection of your property. It's kind of almost creepy. But uh, they uh, did you lose anything extremely important in that fire? Uh yeah, among uh, yeah, we, my, for, to my from my mother's perspective, uh, she had lost, and uh, we ended up finding two of them. Uh, she had lost a pair of shoes that she liked, but we ended up finding them, and she ended up losing her purse. We think uh, somebody the, the child from across the street, living from us, came in and stole it. So, uh, but then we moved back. But then upon moving back in, we found the purse. So it's like. It was likely returned, but with some of the uh, ide- some of the uh, money and whatever was ha- had been removed from it, and most importantly to my mother, we had a uh, painting print copy. Um, uh, it's expensive, one of the numbered editions of um, shoot, oh Salvador Dali. The uh, one that the one that's tr- that's a tree made of hands. No, oh, it's a remake. Uh, well, it was yeah, you know, yeah. I believe 
by uh, Dolly himself, but it was one of the... Because uh, if you honestly uh, had a Salvadori Dolly picture, I wouldn't have wanted that so, uh, you know, lost. That's worth a lot of money. Yes, but that was but that was lost. Uh, we think somebody came in and stole it. Possibly the same kid that came in and stole my mother's purse. Oh, but quite then a it. But that's just spe that's speculation right there. All right, no proof, no, you know, no loss. So we've covered quite a few things. A lot of the things the associates were concerned about. Uh, one last little thing that came up. And um, honestly, I don't feel comfortable asking about this, but there was one name that popped up on that list quite a few times on that quickie, as you called it. Uh, Miss Megan Schroeder? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, when I was going to Pokemon League at the Game and Hobby place, uh, she was uh, she was a crush. On, she was kind of a crush on mine, and I had wanted to start a relationship, but she felt... She became uncomfortable with me being close to her, and uh, and then all of this and that. And then the day when Snyder banned me, she did not step up to to aid me or anything. She just stood by. She just stood back and watched. But anyway, a um, few minor uh, here's and there's against her on my shoulder. But I have not sp spoken to her or have not been able to speak with her very much at all since way back then. Yeah, and we noticed that there was a couple of recent videos in about the last year or so of you seemingly still holding a grudge against her. Was that just a minor thing, or...? Uh, I'd, st I'd say I've mostly, for I've, mo I've mostly gotten over the grudges. But aside, and aside from that, I'd just say, Lair... Wherever she is, live her life, and I'll just stay here li living mine. It's all done and over with. A good aspect on life to have. Yes. Now, is there any chance that you can have the quickie removed? Um, I'll X number of times. Back in about 2007, 08, when I first found the, uh, pages and whatnot um yeah i've tried personally to take it down but um yeah it's not it's not very much within my power it's definitely dependent upon the the troll webmaster of the actual website there oh so somebody's forcing that to stay up yeah pretty much how atrocious quite have you tried pleading with them and, you know, trying to take advantage of their uh, human kindness? Um, yes, I have tried, and up to no avail. No avail. It's a pity. Try as you might. It seems you can't succeed on that front. Because we were hoping that if you could get the quickie removed, that would definitely have a huge impact on this being able to take a, a leap forward, essentially. Mm. Because yeah, right... Oh, go yes, ahead, please. Actually, uh, my my, uh, my friend and associate uh, who has been helping me uh, with more recently, um, yeah, she has a friend who could who could have who could hack into and take down the uh, oh my take down the quickie website. Well, let's not but delve too far into that. We don't want to get implicated with any information about that. You keep that your little secret, all right, Christine. Yes, but anyway, um, aside from that, I decided that if we can, if uh, we are able to hack into the quickie, um, we would actually, I would rather have it, um, sub I would rather have it severely edited and uh, trimmed down to where it's more positive than negative against me. Really? So you wouldn't even want it taken down? You just want it more towards yeah. a uh, positive approach? Yes. After all, that would reflect your current lifestyle in a way. You were more negative when you were younger, but now you're more positive. Um, I uh, I was I was tend to say. Um, I'm not going to lie, care. Christine. I've seen some of the videos you've made in the past, and you definitely had a little bit of an anger issue, if you want to put it nicely. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Then on that note, yeah, I was more negative in the past, but I've matured. 
for the better. Oh, yes, definitely for the better. I'm impressed. Extremely impressed. Yes, thank you. I mean, if you keep if you keep this up, I can only expect great things in your future. Yes, thank you. All right, Christine, I believe that's covered all of the things I have on my little footnote here for my associates. I'm going to have another meeting with them later this week. I will contact you, and hopefully this next call we have will be the last one we need to make. Okay. Before we all start right. moving things forward. Yes, thank you, Arthur. No, no problem, Christine. You have a nice day. Uh, you have a good day, too. Thank you. Thank you.